hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to use human generator with real machine pro okay real machine pro is bender add-on come with over 1700 plus admission library you can load to your character easy so today i'm going to show you how to use with human generator so first here i'm going to just choose f character and okay so here i'm going to choose any female character from the list and i'll click on generate human okay so here i have generated a human we can just go to the body just customize as you want we can do anything here can change anything just click on here to go to the next and here is the cloth okay so here you can choose any cloth you want so i'm going to choose maybe um this one okay so i'm going to load this and i'll go to footwear and i'm going to load maybe this one okay so here i have finished customizing my character okay let's click on next so i can select the array just go here and choose tipos okay so we're going to set our character into tipos like this so what i'm going to do next is let's select our character body and let's go to the uh let's go to the data here and i'm going to apply all the shape keys okay so just select the character body go here and click on this and click apply all shape keys let's hide that body press h to hide it let's select the shirt and i'm going to and i'm going to apply all the shapes let's hide it select that the eyes do have the shape key so i'm going to apply it okay so after that i'm going to unhide everything okay good so this is what we have now we can see we don't have the fissure blend shapes okay here i'm going to we are going to add the fissure blend shape so what i will do is let's go to face okay let's go to the expressions and click on face is under the expression just click on add fascia rig and after that you can see the character get all the arcade blend shape you can see this this okay and that is how we can do it so the next thing so let's go back to the post go to the rig and click on generate rectify now we have done so now we have generated the rectify rig and everything is going to work okay this is moving uh, we can use this one to open the door and it's going to okay so here let's go to the real machine pro and i'll go to the settings and here i'll choose my rig since this one is a rectify character let's choose rectify and click switch f key and click import tipos and just click automate and click ok okay so now this is what we have note you have to go to post mode so select the rig go to post mode and make sure the foot is flat on the ground so i'm going to select this hot pass out to reset the rotation let's use a mirror so that both of them will mirror and i'm going to straight the leg like this okay i'm going to do it so it's going to be flat on the ground like this okay and i'm going to select this one i want to close the leg okay so this one is okay I'm going to select the hand also this have to for any human generator you have to do this for any other rig you can just leave it like that okay so i'm going to bring the down and i want to bring the shoulder also down a little bit okay so let me make it slightly like c a plus like this okay so after this make sure you go to object mode and click on apply rest plus. now we have done okay so now let's go to the animation and here i'm going to pick verify and let me load walk okay so i'm going to load walking and pick and load walk okay so this is what we have so now we see the character is going to walk without any deformation on other parts okay so i'll see the character is walking okay and it is working so here the clipping you can just go to scope mode when you go to scope mode go to the data here and make sure you have selected the shape key called tipos and then you can just use the scopes okay use g 
for grab and make here this one under the cross okay So we see what we have. So I'm going to load another animation. I'm going to reset it. I want to load. So this is uh, done. So I'm going to load this one. Okay, and uh, it's going to that. So if you find something like this, it's very easy to face. Okay, just select the character bone. Go to post mode. Select that bone. And here we can just move it forward okay so i'm going to make the start frame on frame one and i'm going to rotate it okay so i'm going to rotate it like this so it will affect it apply to all the other frames okay so we are going to use the rotation and rotate it like this okay so now in the preview you can see the hands will not clip again so that's how it will you can use this one to face any clipping motion